Hello and welcome. My name is Kevin Ashton and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'd like to show you how to make shoyu ramen. Shoyu ramen is a soy based ramen that is usually made with chicken stock and then topped with either chicken or pork. Today we're going to use roast pork because I have some roast pork left from a recipe I produced yesterday. I've also wanted to source the ingredients for this recipe from UK supermarkets so that all of you can have a go. Don't forget to like and subscribe and enjoy the video. On my counter I have the ingredients for my show you ramen. We have 1200 milliliters of homemade chicken broth. It's really important to have a good quality chicken broth because that has a lot of intense flavor for the recipe. We've got four spring onions. We've got 15 grams of peeled garlic cloves, which we're going to slice. We've got 35 grams of ginger, which we're also going to slice. We've got three small chilies that we're going to seed and cut into a dice. We've got 60 milliliters of dark soy sauce. We've got 60 milliliters of mirin. We've got five grams of optional dried wild mushrooms. We've got 125 grams of fresh shiitake mushrooms. And finally, we have two bags of Itsu restaurant ramen soba noodles. The first thing we're gonna do is just put some boiling water onto my dried wild mushrooms, just enough to reconstitute them. And we're just gonna put those to one side out the way. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to separate the stalks because the shiitake stalks can sometimes be woody. So we're just going to pull the stalks out if they are woody. Sometimes they're, they're tender so they don't need it, but we're going to pull the stalks out and we're going to put the stalks into the broth. Now the stalks, we will take the stalks back out of the broth but we do want to make sure they cook down so we are now going to just put those onto the cutting board we just want to chop those down a little bit so they'll cook more quickly and we'll get more flavor out of them in the broth so we'll put those back into ramekin Mushrooms we're going to slice up and we're going to use these later in the process. We want to slice them pretty thinly. Next we want to just roughly chop the spring onions. We've got four spring onions here just into about one or two inch pieces. They're ready. The wild mushrooms have been sitting in the hot water for five minutes and they're now nice and soft. So we're just gonna chop them up. But we want to keep the liquor, the water, because it's got all the flavor from the wild mushrooms. And we're just gonna roughly chop this up. And then just put that back together with the liquor and that will go into the ramen broth. So we want, just want to take our ginger and just slice it up. We don't need to dice it. This is gonna cook in the ramen broth for about 25 minutes. And we're gonna do the same with our garlic cloves. We just want to slice that garlic up So it'll cook quicker in the broth. So that is fine. So I've divided the uh, chilies in half and we're going to put half of them into the broth and save half for the toppings. So we don't need to make any of these cut up very small. Just to give you some idea. that into ramekin reserve for the broth. 
the other one we will cut up for the toppings and these will get steamed along with the pak choy. So to make our ramen broth we've put our 1200 millilitres of chicken broth on to the stove. We've got it on a medium heat and we're going to start adding the ingredients. We've got our shiitake stalks. Make sure we don't lose any. We've got our garlic. We've got our sliced fresh ginger. We've got our spring onions. We've got our 60 millilitres of dark soy sauce, which will add a lot of depth of flavour. We've got our 60 millilitres of mirin. We've got half of our fresh chilies. And finally, we have our reconstituted wild mushrooms together with the liquid. And we want to bring this up to a simmer and let it simmer for 25 minutes. So here are the rest of the ingredients for our ramen. We've got some delicious shoulder of pork that I uh, had left over, so I've sliced it up and I want to make sure I've given two to three slices per portion so that they've got a good sized portion. We've got some bean sprouts, we've got some toasted sesame seed oil, and we've also got some more dark soy sauce and this these two will be sprinkled on at the last moment as a sort of topped onto the garnish. We've got some eggs and we're going to soft boil one egg per person. Uh, we've got some pak choy which we're going to slice into thin slices and we're going to try to keep the root on to keep those slices in place and we're going to steam that and then we've got three more spring onions that we're going to finally slice up and sprinkle on to the ramen when we serve it. So now we're ready to boil our eggs. We want to soft boil them for six minutes. A little tip, uh, there is a, a little air cavity at the bottom of an egg and this will help to give you a perfectly timed six minute egg that comes out of the shell really easily. So you just take a drawing pen and you've got to just very, very carefully you don't have to do this if you don't feel confident. You're just going to gently work that into the shell. Don't push it too hard, otherwise you'll crack the shell. And now we've got the two drawing pins in and we're going to put these onto our slotted spoon and lower them into the water. We're going to do two and then we'll do another two. So the boiled eggs have had six minutes in boiling water. We're going to take them out and drop them immediately into an ice bath to stop the cooking process and let them cool down. This will also help to get the shells off. So our ramen broth has been simmering now for 25 minutes. So we're now going to strain it into a clean saucepan. We want to make sure we don't lose any of the liquid. So you need to press the vegetables through against the strainer so that we have plenty of broth for our four people. And when you get towards the end, you could just gently tip it because there's no big chunky things to fall out and splash. And then we want to press that through. To make sure that we've got all of that flavour into our ramen broth. So at this point we want to put our sliced fresh shiitake mushrooms into our strained ramen broth. Make sure we get all of it. Give it a stir and then we want to put a lid on the saucepan and we want to just gently keep this hot enough for the shiitake mushrooms to cook inside the broth. Right, so here we have our pak choy, and this is another garnish for our ramen. And we're just gonna take the smallest amount of the root off, because we don't really want to cut into the root and make it fall apart. Then we're just gonna cut it with a nice sharp knife in half. 
and then we're going to cut it into quarters and then we're going to cut those quarters again so we end up with nice thin strips but we want to try to keep those strips together. So now we're ready to steam our pak choy. We've got our boiling lightly salted water uh, just coming up to a ball now. So we're going to put that over the pot of water. We're going to sprinkle some of these chilies, not all of them. And this is just a matter of personal taste. Some people might like all the chilies in there. Some people might like just a little bit. And we're just going to put the lid down and steam it for about five minutes until it's tender. So the pak choy has had about six, six and a half minutes and now we're going to take it off just to keep it warm. And now we're going to take some toasted sesame seed oil and a little of the dark soy sauce. And we're going to let that sit ready to put on top as a garnish. So now it's time to cook our soba noodles. They only take three minutes in boiling water. We're just going to drop them straight into the water and then we want to get tongs and just move them around a little bit just to make sure they don't stick together in one mass. And they just take three minutes to cook. So we're just about ready to put the ramen together. We want to heat our eggs back up just for literally one minute. So we're just going to carefully drop them into the boiling water and time 60 seconds and as soon as they come out we want to cut them in half and put them together with the ramen. So we're now ready to assemble our ramen and giving it a good stir to make sure we get some of the shiitake mushrooms in each ladleful. Good ladle and a half, or two ladles per portion. Next, we want to go with our noodles. So we've got some tongs here to put a good portion of noodles. Remember the noodles are really important in ramen. So you almost want to see the, the noodles sticking out above the broth. So plenty of noodles, remember we say 400 grams for four people. These packs are 200 grams so you should get two portions out of one packet. Next you want to go with our pak choy and steamed chilies. So we'll have a few pak choy. and steamed chilies. Make sure you get a little bit of the steamed chili on there. Now we've added our soft boiled eggs. Add a few spring onions. A little sprinkle of bean sprouts. And then finally we have our roast shoulder of pork cling wrap the plate and heat it up in the microwave so it's nice and hot and remember we said we're going to give at least two generous slices per person. Here you have our delicious shoyu ramen topped with roasted pork, our soft boiled eggs, pak choy, bean sprouts and spring onions. Enjoy!